Hey guys, so I got a new camera. I got the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. It just came out August 1st, so I'm super excited about it. I'm still playing around with it. I've done a ton of research, so I know all of its features mainly, and I am comparing it to the Sony RX100 um, models, which they have a new one, the Mark Seven, Sony RX100 Mark Seven coming out, I think it's August 16th. Um, which also has some new killer features and one of the main things that they're both having is they both have a mic input now so you can attach a mic directly to it and you know they both have 4k now i know this one has had 4k but you can shoot longer on it now and this one has 4k now but i've heard that the 4k you can only shoot for so long before it overheats <laughs> or whatnot, which is fine. I'm not planning on shooting too much 4K. I shoot everything in 1080p. That's completely fine for me. And I do know now that the, this one comes with stabilization. I know some of the previous models did not have stabilization. That's one of the reasons why I got this one to begin with. Back when I got this one, <laughs> this is the Mark IV though, and it has served me so well and so right for so many years but it's time has come to an end it is glitching on me and <laughs> it's not a great feeling it's become unreliable i can still obviously use it for pictures or really short clips but when i want to shoot a longer video it's glitching on me so i have to try it out but yeah here's my new camera guys so i'm gonna open it up yeah so it comes with a registration card, the huge, not sure what this is, oh, limited warranty, and an instruction manual, of course, of course, the necessities. And then we have battery and a charging, charging adapter. And actually what I like about this charging adapter, I mean, Char yeah battery charger which is, i like it better than on um, my other cameras that actually tells you when it's full on the other one it didn't i would just like leave plugged in forever hoping to know or hoping that it's charged completely so i'm happy that i will know when it's completely charged it comes with a little um hand held oops comes with a loop to attach to it so that you can hang on to your camera, not drop it as easily. And the camera itself comes wrapped in this foamy paper. And this one is actually coming in two colors now. It comes in the silver color and in the black color. I got the silver color just because it was something different. I thought it looked kind of retro and cool. So that's why I got this one. But the thing is, I feel like both of these have pretty similar features. This one's just, like extremely cheaper than this one but something for you to know though is that this one actually uses the operating or uses something from this one i forgot what it is operating system or something from a previous model of this one so it's finally adapted that so the new mark 7 is super advanced yet super expensive so i guess if you are gonna be spending that much money it's like 1200 dollars. you might as well get like a bigger dslr cameras with interchangeable lenses which is what i will spend that money on if i'm going to spend that money but this one is like 750 and so far so good so I have just gotten my new camera because my new, my old vlogging camera was completely screwed. I got the Canon G7X Mark III and this is what it looks like guys. I'm testing it out on a video that I'm currently shooting for my channel and this is, this is it. I had the Sony RX100 Mark IV before so I was contemplating between getting the the sony upgraded version which is the mark 7 rx 100 and 
it was just, it was like four or $500 more than the Canon one and I just couldn't justify it for myself. The reason I had to upgrade is because my other camera, I guess I got it like four or five years ago now. It's insane how long I've had it, but it started to glitch on me. Like I'd be recording a video and you know, like 20 minutes would pass and then it would kind of shut down on me and default the file and corrupt the file. So the file would just be gone and it would do it randomly, sporadically. So it just became completely unreliable. And I also didn't want to risk that happening with the new camera too. So that's why I decided to switch it up and get the Sony GX7 Mark III um, instead. So I'm excited, so far so good. I'm gonna test it out for vlogging capabilities as well. I'm just testing out the camera shake feature right now, seeing how smooth everything is on this camera. Am I in focus though? There I am. That is me. That is me in focus. So let's check this out. It's following me pretty well. Pretty well. It's gonna blur out this background, this shitty background, this mess in the house. I don't know. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick comparison. This is my old camera. This is the Sony RX100 Mark IV. And this is my new camera, the Canon G7X Mark III. It just came out, so I'm super excited. And the first thing that I definitely noticed, it is lighter than this one, although this one is smaller. And it does have a slightly more toyish feel to it in a sense. This one feels more like heavy duty quality materials. And it is smaller, this one's bigger. And the thing that I have already noticed about it is that the focus on this camera is worse than on my old camera. So that sucks, but it isn't enough to worry me because I can just press on my face, it'll track it and focus in. And it's not, it's something that can be easily edited out. I'm not trying to catch quick focus changes. I am like, I got this camera for vlogging purposes, so it doesn't bother me too much, although the focus is worse and I can notice that. But this one is newer, it does have a mic input now, so you can attach a mic directly to this. The flip camera is pretty much the same. It's pretty sturdy. The controls on here are really simple. Turn it on, it works well. It's a cute little sound and Oh, there we go. I mean, I think it works perfectly for my needs and maybe the fact that it's light actually too is not that bad of a thing, especially since I want to be carrying it around with me. And it actually has like a grip here, which makes it easier to hold, which this one does not. It's more like fragile and heavy in a sense, but I really did love this camera. So I'm sad I had to upgrade and change it up. I did want to upgrade to this one, but the newest one that's coming out, but it's $500 more than this one, and for my purposes, I didn't feel like I necessarily needed to. This is still a great camera from what I've tried and seen, so I'm not seeing too much of a different difference to justify paying $500 more. So, yeah, that's the story, guys. One thing that this camera does have over this camera is that it does have a built-in ND filter, which this one does not, although I never really had an issue with that and for those that don't know what that is it basically if you're shooting in super like bright light daytime situations it helps filter it out so you can actually capture all of the colors and it just doesn't all look washed out and bland um so yeah that's some, one thing this one has that this one does not but yeah i just kind of wanted to shoot this unboxing video for my new camera because i was really excited about it and i kind of wanted to give a proper farewell to this one <laughs> so and hopefully if anyone else is debating on which camera to get this might help them out so again yeah if you are just vlogging or using it for simple youtube purposes i would just go with this one if you do want more advanced features and a more full-fledged camera in a compact size and you're willing to spend the extra money then i would get this one because it is tremendously better but you don't need it if you're not going to be using all of its features that's basically, you know, it. So don't waste the money if you're not gonna be using everything that's, you know, in it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed 
this camera unboxing video and I hope it helps you make the decision you are looking to make. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye.